In this video, we will be going over how to prepare your 3D model for printing using the Cura software for Ultimaker. First, it's important to note that the Cura software is just for preparing existing models, not creating them. If you want to create a model for printing, you should look at online tools like Tinkercad or software like SketchUp, Mesh Mixer, or Blender. Once you've got your model, click on the folder icon to find your file on your computer. Depending on how your model was exported, you may find that it appears very small on the print bed. This is no problem. You can scale the model to whatever size you like, as long as it can fit on the print bed. Remember though that the larger the object, the longer the print time and more material will be required to print it. You can also rotate the object as well. Don't rotate the object the way you intend to display it. Instead, rotate it whichever way will be the most stable on the bed and will reduce the amount of material that will overhang. You can easily duplicate items by right-clicking on the object and selecting Multiply Selected Model you'll be prompted to say how many copies you'd like to make. Once you've got the model the way you want, it's time to change the print settings. Once you are more experienced with 3D printing, you can choose custom build settings, but for now it's best to use the recommended settings. One important setting is the infill. This determines how much plastic will be printed inside of your object. Generally, the interior of your piece will be mostly air, and you should leave the infill around 20% unless you have an important reason to increase it. Increasing the infill will increase the project build time and amount of plastic filament it consumes. Supports are useful if you have parts of your model that might be delicate, and they will be necessary if your print has overhangs since the printer needs an existing structure to apply the plastic to. Once the print is done, supports can be removed by hand. Adhesion helps keep the print fixed to the plate during printing. While not necessary, adhesions like a raft will provide valuable stability. Rafts can be cut away after the print is done. Once you've chosen your settings, you can click Slice. You should see an estimated printing time. Click Save to File. If you have an SD card in one of the computers in the Design Center, the file will be automatically saved to it. Otherwise, you can just save to a folder and manually put the file on the SD card that you will load into the Ultimaker printer.